TV show. It was interesting. A TV show, and I can't, uh, Brington, Brighton, Brington, something like that. On I think it's on Netflix. It's a it's a a bit of a silly romance show, um, set in an alternative kind of history uh, of uh, eighteen thirteen London, and it's romance and you know uh, Bridgeton, Bridgeton. Thank you, Bridgeton. And it's, it's, it's mostly silly, and it's not a series I'm going to recommend. But what I found really intriguing about it, and I actually really liked it, is that they basically cast black actors and white actors, and it didn't, like, there wasn't black roles and white roles. The black people weren't representing black people, and white people weren't representing white people. They were just representing people. They were all, you know, the, the show is about aristocrats. So they're all aristocrats. Of course, in those days in England, there were no black aristocrats. But there were, so here they're black aristocrats. But they're not viewed as black aristocrats. Ooh, that's weird. They're just aristocrats. There's no issue with, in a marriage, there's no issue with anything other than the stupid hierarchy of classes in British society. But a complete colorblindness. Now, they had a kind of, explain this so they had a stupid explanation for it something about the king marrying falling in love with a black woman and making a queen and therefore now it's a colorblind society but that doesn't make any sense because they're families that have uh like the dukes that have long history that are all black going back way back into history in this thing right it's a historical but so what it's fiction it's an alternative history but the beauty of it is you don't care. What difference does it make? The actors are acting a particular type. It's alternative history. It's historical fiction. But why should historical fiction be focused on the color of people's skin? Why shouldn't historical fiction be focused on their character, the culture? That's what historical fiction should be about. I mean, why shouldn't James Bond? I mean, I'd love to see Adris, Al uh, Adris Alba, is that his name? Play James Bond. I think he'd be a great James Bond. But the whole idea of the color of somebody's skin is irrelevant. It's unimportant. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but it, it doesn't matter. You're writing fiction. <laughs> and you're changing history. That's what often happens in historical fiction. And you're making race irrelevant and choosing to focus on the romance. And it's completely appropriate. And I found it quite charming and, and, and refreshing and cool. So the ideal, Idris Elba, thank you, Idris Elba is, uh, he's, I really like him as an actor. I first discovered Idris Elba um, in, um, in w The Wire. He played one of the, uh, one of the drug dealers. He played the one who, who goes to business school because he wants to run it like a real business. So he goes to business school at night to, to study up, to figure out how to run the drug business as a, as a real business. Uh, but he's a, he's a really good actor. Then he did, he, he's got a uh, kind of a really, really, really dark cop show in the UK, uh, Luther, it's called, Luther. Highly recommended, but very violent, very dark, very upsetting. But he's brilliant in it. So he's, he's been one of my favorite actors since I saw him in The Wire. And, and I think he's got that charm and that presence that would make a good James Bond, although he's getting, now he's getting older. It might might not be appropriate. So the ideal, the goal, before I get to that, this is an interesting question. If you made a movie about slavery, would you cast white people slaves? Maybe. 
So it depends on what the purpose of the movie was and whether I wanted to focus on the fact that slaves were black. But even historically, slaves have been white. I mean, Spartacus is a good example of a white slave. So if you were doing a movie about slavery in America in the 19th century, no, you would make them black because part of the issue of slavery was that they were black. But the, but the issue of romance in the court of King George in the eight, early 1800s and the relationships between people and how they played out and the hierarchy between dukes and whatever the other hierarchy, the other people within the, the hierarchy of aristocracy is, has no relevance, race has no relevance to that story. Now, you could make a movie about 1813 where race is very important. For example, about, you know, uh, uh, slave trade or about anything that related to, uh, to the conflict between white and black or the conflict around race. But if you're making a movie about, with a theme, the topic, everything is about something unrelated to race, where race is irrelevant, then race is irrelevant. It's about the romance. Even if at the time race was relevant, that's not what you're dealing with in this movie. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>